Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and guess what? You guessed it, I have another knife review for you guys. So what we have here is a very handsome knife, and it's a fixed blade knife, and y'all know I don't do many fixed blade knife videos, but this is a Rough Rider, and it's simply called the Black and Red G10 fixed blade knife and it doesn't have a name or a fancy name or anything like that that's something i do kind of like but i'm making this video giving you the good the bad and the ugly about this knife guys first of all let's start with the good uh, as far as the good goes the price this knife was 12.99 brand spanking new smoky mountain knife works um you can't beat that okay uh let's talk about some other good things uh, check out how thick this steel is. This is really thick steel. Um, it's a drop point blade, but look at that. Very, very utilitarian type of blade. This thing would be very comfortable. Uh, field dressing an animal or cutting a steak uh, for your dinner. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful knife. And the black and red G10 is just really pretty. This kind of reminds me of like a Spider-Man themed knife or something like that. And check out those uh, rivets or or screws that are used right there. Um, they're pretty nice looking, kind of techy, kind of modern. I like that. And uh, this is the RR2163, all right? And uh, aesthetically pleasing, yes it is. It is a good looking knife, so that's the good. Thick steel, see how it goes all the way down to the point. This is not something that's going to break very easily. This is something that's going to last you a very, very long time. And this G10 handle just really feels really good in the hand. As you can see, I can get all four fingers around the handle. This looks like it would be really good for bushcrafting as well. Really good knife. Let's talk about the sheath. And for $12.99, I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, let's start looking at a little bit of the bed. Uh, as far as the ugly, there is no ugly. Uh, this is a fantastic knife. But I had my hopes up for this sheath. What I did originally when I received this is I converted it to horizontal carry. And I had the the belt loop. And you have this plastic or kydex kind of loop. And I had it this way. But then I found something out. Let me show you what I found out. Okay, check this out. I'm going to try and do it slow so you can see. You see that? The knife just slides right out of the sheath. So I can't use this for horizontal carry. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having this type of system with the rivets where uh, you can just, uh, this kind of Kydex system where you can convert it to different types. I mean, I can't use it in this configuration either where it's kind of slanted because it just comes out so easily. Let me do that again so you can see it. Just like that. So you can't really have this for horizontal carry for safety reasons. You know, this thing could could slip out, land on your foot. Let's say it slips out and then it ends up going in this configuration and ah, and then it hits you in the toe. No, I don't think so. OK, so for that reason, this is going to be carried like this. Um, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. In this manner, gravity helps it to keep it in the sheath. But if you find yourself in a situation where you slant it this way, I'm always going to be mindful of this happening. And it just slipping right off, just like that. This loose just slipping right off. See how it's coming off? Right there. I don't want to do it too hard because I'm doing it with my left hand. If I do it with my right, I have a little bit more control. It slides right off. Can't really have that in a Kydex or a plastic sheath type system. Um, it's that type of thing that makes people, in my opinion, want to stick to leather sheaths, right? Or nylon or something with a fastener. And this is supposed to grip it in place. But it's not that great. Okay, but that doesn't, it's not a deal breaker for me. Let me tell you why. The knife itself is fantastic. If I wanted to carry it in another kind of sheath, let's say a leather sheath, I can totally do that. Now, that company, SMKW, you guys know the company, they make knives from, from uh, or they have knives for sale from all over, right? They gave me two stickers. They gave me this awesome SmokyMountainKnifeWorks.com sticker, which I really like. And check out this sticker. It says knives, a real American tradition. Does this look familiar to any of you guys in the 40, 30 to 45 uh, age range? Let me give you a little hint. G.I. Joe, the real American hero. 
knives, a real American tradition. They stole this from G.I. Joe, guys, which I think is totally awesome because G.I. Joe was awesome. You got the red, you got the white, you got the blue, and now it's like a knives G.I. Joe sticker. Okay, so that's the awesome. The good, the bad, there's no ugly, but this is the awesome. I really dig that sticker, guys. Awesome sticker. Like it a lot. Anyway, this has been a short video. This is the knife detector giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly. No ugly in this case. We got a little bit of good, a little bit of bad, and a little bit of awesome. Signing off, wishing you guys a fantastic week. Take care. God bless you. Stay safe. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper.